Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Now, celebrities, when it comes to the current situation that we are all experiencing, these celebrities, these personalities with huge followings, they haven't said a word. I mean, maybe it's a peekaboo club rule. I don't know. Or maybe they have just taken a vow of silence. It's probably the most telling thing in everything that has happened recently. The united front that all of the major big celebrities, personalities have taken. Nobody seems to have a different opinion of the mainstream media narrative. So when one does go the other way, it is now seen as highly unusual. So here we have Conor McGregor, the Irish uh, UFC uh, world champion. Now, I'm not that clued up on him. There's a lot of controversy around him. Didn't he get filmed whacking some old fella in a pub? And, do, and does he not have a pub, I believe, which is enforcing the passports at the moment? I don't know. But beggars can't be choosers. Now, on his Twitter account, where he has 9 million followers, yesterday he put out loads of tweets calling for Ireland to rise, saying the government were incompetent. He then deleted them a few hours later. So this is what he said, talking about Ireland and the lockdowns. He said, we are almost three years into this. Three? Surely he means two. Anyway, I'll continue. It says, we have come together time and time again, gone above and beyond what has been asked of us. Yet all we have gotten back is hypocritical address after hypocritical address. The audacity. I am ashamed of my nation's government at this time. Then he said, there is just no backing from me anymore. We will rise. Tonight's address read like an advert to me. When Ireland stands, the world will know. He then said, for Leo, that's Leo Varadka, to come out today on foreign soil and directly blame the non-vaccinated is the most divisive comment I've seen yet. It is neither the vaccinated or the non-vaccinated, nor any Irish citizen for that matter, that is responsible for this unpreparedness. It is government. He then said, Ireland and its people, with its high vaccination rate, after enduring the longest lockdown in the free world, is not to blame for the undersupply of our healthcare system. Those in government are. Almost three years to bolster this for our people and nothing. Ireland will rise, he says. I'm not sure why he keeps saying three years. It's two years, isn't it? Or have, we, or have I missed a year? Who knows? Maybe this has been going on for longer than I even realise. And then today he put another one out in response, another tweet in response to this video by Leo Veruka Varadka. And he said, poisonous individual buffoon, get this blithering fool off my screen, show pony phony. Here's a clip of that video. You know, it, it is a difficult situation. Um, things were going so well. Uh, I think as a nation we're... We're a little bit crestfallen, a little bit heartbroken that we're um, back into a difficult space when it comes to COVID. Um, we do have among the highest vaccination rates in the world, around 94% of adults are fully vaccinated. Um, unfortunately, the 5% that are not uh, are causing a lot of the trouble. Um, about 5% are not fully vaccinated, but about 50% of people in hospital and ICU mm. are not fully vaccinated. So uh, even that 5% can uh, create a lot of difficulty and then also it's very evident now that immunity from the vaccines is waning and we mm. can see that happening across Europe uh, and that's why we're going to need to give people a third dose uh, and uh, that's what we're pushing ahead with now at, the, now, now at present. So you are looking at boosters at this point? Oh, oh well more than that we're mm. we're providing um, what, what we're now calling the, well, I'm now calling the third dose because I think mm. this is going to be a three dose vaccine. Mm. Some vaccines require three doses, um, two isn't going to be enough so we're extending that now to um, more than half the adult population, mm -hmm. anyone over 50 and then anyone under 50 with medical conditions. And I'd anticipate that we'll offer the third dose to everyone, as has been the case in, in other countries. Listen, do you envisage more restrictions before Christmas? Because that, of course, could be extremely damaging, uh, given that people are wanting to come home, travel to Ireland, particularly from the States, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I hope not. Uh, we're gonna reassess the situation in about two weeks time. Um, and uh, see if cases have stabilized um, and hopefully they'll be falling by then but there's no guarantee that's going to be the case um, mm. i've always said that i felt that we need to get through another winter before we could say this this pandemic mm. is safely behind us uh, and as you suggested earlier it may be the case that this becomes uh, uh, a problem that we have to deal with every winter uh, mm. and we need to okay that's enough of that drivel uh 
You hear that? Oh, this is something we might have to do every winter. <sighs> so yeah, this is, well, from what I can see, this is the first personality, celebrity, sporting personality with a huge following, with like 9 million followers to actually come out and actually say something. I mean, this person has followers, not just from Ireland, but from USA, all over the place. So, you know, I thought I'd make a video about it. Maybe, I mean, we don't see this happening very often. Maybe this will get the ball rolling. Maybe we will see more people with big followings come out and start complaining and calling this stuff out and start asking questions and getting other people to ask questions. Let us know what you think in the comments. Do you believe this is genuine or is it another smokescreen, another mainstream media smokescreen? Who knows? As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded people, like-minded souls who don't follow the crowd. <laughs>